Welcome back. It is Saturday, November 25th in the NBA. My three favorite picks are on the way. It's Austin from Calling Our Shot, joined today by a special guest. You guys better get it out for me. The broom is here. A 4-0 sweep last night, turning it into an 11-2 run. A very good track record these past couple days. Day three of the ladder challenge did smack. We love that hit in the third quarter in all the games. We'll take that. Day four will be live later on today. Should be live by noon, definitely by then. Then we look at the other picks we had. Devin Booker's PRA line. Once Durant got ruled out, sweat free. Jokic rebounds he got that done the first half ingram points plus assists he got that done pretty easily too he had 16 points in the first quarter a great day hopefully we helped you make some money if you are new do us a favor hit that subscribe button down below we got more picks incoming for saturday slate which is an interesting slate got some injury news but i really like the card we got cooked up today before we dive into it though we have a great offer on BetMGM. You get $1,500 paid back in bonus bets. If you don't win your first wager, here's how you claim it. Top link in the description. You make a bet, and if it loses, you get it back in bonus bets to use again. Sign up for BetMGM. I always say it's important to have a bunch of different sports books just because you can always line shop. And if one of our picks today, it's like two points higher on one book and not on the all any bu- any other book. So it's always important to have a couple sports books. I'm not saying, hey, go out there and sign up for every single one of them, but it's always important to have more than just one just to be able to diversify and kind of check the best lines because obviously sportsbooks move their lines every now and then and it happens it pretty much happens instantly in just every single moment of the day but you guys came here for some winners we're gonna try to deliver another three and oh sweep let's dive into today's picks i will be back in the normal scenery for tomorrow's videos but the first guy who will likely make his way into the ladder challenge too his name is shay gildas alexander let's talk about him over 42 and a half points rebounds and assist obviously i have him abbreviated to sga if you don't know who sga is he plays for the oklahoma city thunder and he is a beast we're taking him for over points and rebounds and assists minus 118 on fandle now typically for sga i'm normally a guy that just says hey, i'm only backing him for points but he's been doing a really good job getting the rebounds getting the assists today and i really like this matchup to not only pile up some rebounds but also get some assists today against the sixers who we will talk about a little bit more in the matchup but look at say shea so far the season Yeah, I mean, he's been a beast. I mean, 30.4 points per game, 6.1 rebounds per game, 6.3 assists per game, good for 42.8 PRAs right at this line. He is over this line in 9 of 14 games, and Jalen Williams is out. Now, if you don't know anything about the Thunder, and you might be like, who the heck's Jalen Williams? I don't think he's a big deal. And while he doesn't seem like a big deal on paper, his numbers speak for themselves, and he's very talented. He averages 17, 4, and 4. So this is a guy that takes around 13 shots per game. So he's a big part of their offense. Honestly, I'd argue he's pretty much their second option on their offense. So without him, they don't really have a ton of scoring out there, and they're going to need SGA to handle the ball even more. And since since Jalen Williams has been out, I don't know when he returns, probably in a couple games, Cason Wallace, a rookie, has been starting. And in those two starts, Cason Wallace, 21 and 24 minutes, he's attempted two and three field goal attempts, and he doesn't grab a lot of rebounds or really get a lot of assists. So he's basically just out there running cardio back and forth for 20 minutes. And respect to him. He's in the NBA. He's a rookie. Love to see it. He's been actually balling out when he does shoot the ball. But he's just not getting a lot of attempts. And that's good for us because if a guy's not out there shooting the ball, more ball more ball in the hands of SGA. And we will take that because in these last two games, SGA, 35 PRAs. He did that in 23 minutes. That was a game they won by 43 points. He didn't have to play a ton against the Blazers. And then the next game, he actually had to play minutes, 57 PRAs in 37 minutes, 19 field goal attempts. The Thunder won that game by 14. Now, we know the Sixers have been a very good team today or this season, and Joel Embiid is probable he should be out there. So we could see the Sixers honestly win this game. They are favored. It would not surprise me at all. And if the Sixers are winning, SGA ain't passing in the second half. I guarantee you that. So maybe you just lie a bit the points that they're down at half. But look, this is just a Sixers team that while they do have Nick Nurse as their new head coach, they just don't have the perimeter defenders to keep up with a guy like SGA. Now, you think back to Nick Nurse's Raptors days, they were always limiting the number one option. He just does not have the personnel to do that. He had OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam. He had a lot of great defenders there. Now in Philadelphia, they do not have those defenders. And like, I love Tyrese Maxey, not a good defender. D'Anthony Melton, good luck. If you want to go D'Anthony Melton on SGA all day long, I'll take that. And we just saw Darius Garland drop 32 points and eight assists. He also got five rebounds. That's a big time for a guard like that. Darius Garland averaged like two and a half, three rebounds. But SGA's last game against Philly in January, 37, eight and six. It's good for 51 PRAs this season. We've seen SGA. I talked about he's done a great, great job at getting his teammates involved. Also grabbing rebounds, 11 rebound chances, 11.6 potential assists. The guy that leads this uh, Thunder team in rebounds is Chet Holmgren. He will be guarding Joel Embiid. You have fun with that, man. That's going to be a little bit of a rookie. He's going to just teach the rookie a little bit of lessons today, I'm sure. And you look at the other guys on the supporting cast in terms of shooting the ball. Chet Holmgren, like I said, he'll have his hands full on defense guarding Joel Embiid. Then you got Lou Dort. He's probably going to have to go our guard Maxi Case Amal, so I already talked about him. And then the other guy in the starting lineup is Josh Giddy. 
Yeah, um, I'm not here to talk about Josh Giddy and allegations and things going on, but I would be very surprised if he is locked in today and very focused. He's got a lot of things going on off the court that probably are on his mind more so than this. So Josh Giddy, just give the ball to SGA, clear out. They got some guys off the bench like Isaiah Joe that will knock down some shots too, Kenrich Williams too, but Josh, uh, SGA is going to have the ball in his hands literally almost every single possession. He will probably dictate where the possession goes. I am confident riding with him. That's why he'll probably make the ladder challenge. Give it to me. Over 42 and a half PRAs, points, rebounds, and assists. Obviously, I'd like the rebounds too because he's on the weak side. He's not guarding Maxi. He's not guarding Tobias Harris. Not guarding Joel Embiid. Those are the three guys that shoot basically every single shot for the Sixers. So, he'll be down camping in the guy guarding someone in the paint or in the, in the corner. And he'll be grabbing some rebounds. I really like that. And the assists are there too. But my second pick, Going to be going to a matchup. If you know the matchups on the card today, you get the Mavericks versus the Clippers. And I think you know where my next pick is going to be. It's Luka Doncic, over 30 and a half points, minus 120 on BetMGM. Now, like I said, BetMGM, we love them. We talked about the top of the show. If you want to go sign up for them, make sure you use our link, top of the description. However, I said a book has this line two points higher. That would be FanDuel. And while I love FanDuel, we use FanDuel for a lot of different things like our ladder challenge. Sometimes they just have lines mispriced, not according to the market. Now, FanDuel obviously has their own, you know, their own, you know, researchers and their own models and things, projections of that nature. But the fact that they're two points higher than the whole market, that is just a bad bet to make when you can get 30 and a half for the same value on other books. Heck, if it's 31 and a half, you could still get that for better value than what FanDuel is offering at 32 and a half. So let me take this, though. I'll take Luke at 30 and a half. I take him at 31 and a half. I personally would not take him at 32 and a half, but that's just me. It's Luca versus the Clippers. I mean, all right, that's the end of the video, guys. Here's a couple more videos for you guys to check out. Now, of course, I mean, Luka just has dominated the Clippers. His last six regular season games, he dominates them in the postseason. But the postseason is a little bit different animal. The last six regular season games, 51, 45, 35, 43, 29, and 44 points. Going over in five of six, the 44 was the season. His only game he went under, he still scored 29 points despite shooting nine for 21, 42%. And he missed five of 13 free throws. Now, Luka is not the best free throw person, you know, shooter. He's not Stephen Curry shooting 90 something percent, but he's still better than, you know, going eight for 13, which is less like 61%. So, at the end of the day, this is just a matchup. I don't know what the Clippers did to him, but they pissed him off and he does not care. He goes out there and dominates them and he scored 44 on them earlier this year. That was a game at home i don't think he's shooting 81 percent tonight but he certainly could and it's just the game i think is close i just don't think the clippers on a back-to-back -back are going to blow out the mavs i don't think the mavs on the road are going to blow out the clippers i think this is a close game and luca we know how talented he is i know 30 and a half is a tough line to get to because you can't be go three for 30 shooting that but luca we know he's, he's how talented he is coming off two bad shooting games too he shot hit 25 points on 36 percent shooting versus the kings and then 30 points on 38 percent shooting versus the lakers the last time we went back to back games below 40 percent came back and scored 35 versus milwaukee field goal attempts are there 26 shots last game versus the lakers on the road high over under at 237 and a half i don't think the clippers are going to throw double teams his way so i really think luca dominates he's always dominated the clippers in the past i will continue to roll with him over 30 and a half points i know it's a high line but Look, the man, I already gave you the numbers. The man dropped a 50-piece against him. It's several 40-point burgers. He can easily go out there and get us 31 uh, tonight. So I will take Luka Doncic. I'll take him. And hopefully his teammates don't show up so that he has to go out there and ball out and carry the team. They just don't double him. So good luck. They they trust their guys like Kawhi Leonard and Paul George to defend him. And who knows if both those guys play in a back-to-back. -back. I like Luka. Give me his over 30 and a half points. Now, our third pick will be the ladder challenge day four that we posted later on this morning should be late uh posted earlier than yesterday do have some plans at noon so i'll probably get this live by probably 10 and 10 30 maybe even earlier than that we'll see but day four of the ladder challenge playing it for one unit plus rolling over all the funds yesterday was a weird one with me posting it and then kevin durant getting announced out i don't know what that happened there but we'll get this one out with plenty of time i don't think an injury news will hopefully ruin this one that's never happened before so that will be my third pick of the day playing that for one unit i didn't really i like some other things on the card but it's a saturday some things can happen i mean there's some injury news here and there in some games like the jazz pelicans game can't even touch that one because there's injury news there so i'm just gonna roll with these two picks plus the ladder try to go three and zero. continue this 11 and two run and hopefully continue to make you guys some money now there are two other videos you guys can check out number one be our college football picks video we talked about all a lot of the big games on saturday including the michigan and ohio state game which i'm sure a lot of you guys will be watching number two live at 12 p.m noon we will have our uh our our parlay video where we cooked up two parlays for Sunday's NFL slate. You can check that video out. We'll be posted on the channel at 12 p.m. noon Eastern time with plenty of time before Sunday. Now, my Sunday NFL picks for the people who are like, where are your Sunday NFL picks? They will be live later on probably tomorrow, probably tomorrow morning, if I had to guess. Just have a get I'm going to the UCF Houston game. So any people out in the UCF, you know, 
Orlando area and you're going to the UCF game, you might see me. And if you do, say hello. But I'll be there. That's at 12 p.m. kickoff, which is why I don't have a lot of time to dive into the NFL slate. But we'll get some picks out tomorrow morning for that and hopefully dominate the NFL, dominate the NBA, and hopefully keep climbing the ladder. So day four will be posted later on today. I'll put the YouTube short when it is live. Go check out the NFL parlays video that is on the screen too. And when we do or what that is live at 12 p.m. and go check out our college football picks. You have a big Saturday, a big time day. Let's keep dominating the NBA. Let's have a wonderful day. I'll be back in my normal scenery tomorrow, tomorrow's video. But Austin signing out. See you guys in the next one. Let's bring out the brooms tomorrow morning. I'll see you then. Peace.